Secrets to making the perfect espresso. Do you like enjoying a fantastic espresso, latte or flat white at your go-to coffee shop? But you wish you could make that same espresso at home with barista caliber results? Then this is the video for you. Making excellent espresso is challenging. It needs at the very least excellent coffee beans, a great brewing method, a decent spotless espresso machine and a grinder. Additionally, you must be aware of the ideal procedures for really making an exceptional espresso. However, don't fear, it's not as difficult to make good espresso as you may assume. You can pull off making this type of coffee in the comfort of your own kitchen with the right tools and just a little bit of knowledge. In this video, we're sharing our top secrets for making the perfect espresso. Just keep on watching to learn more and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe when you're done. At home, you don't need espresso beans. In reality, there are no such things as espresso beans. They are merely coffee beans that the roaster thinks will produce excellent espresso. Try your preferred espresso beans nonetheless. Similar to how most specialty coffee is Arabica, espresso blends in Italy have a long tradition of including robusta beans, the key idea is that there is no absolute law. Purchase the coffee that you enjoy drinking. Using freshly roasted beans. Coffee tastes best when it's fresh, like most foods. Even though I just mentioned that there isn't a rule, let's call this a strong recommendation. Try to purchase beans that have only recently been roasted. Coffee begins to lose its freshness after two weeks you'll notice that the flavour gradually decreases and that it gets more difficult to get a thick layer of crema on your espresso. Use the right grinder. Like we mentioned earlier, making espresso can be difficult. It calls for a high quality grinder and not all coffee grinders are made equally. The grinds need to be the same size, fine and clump free. Additionally, the grinder also shouldn't have too many grinds in it make sure to use a burr grinder at the very least. For espresso, a blade grinder just isn't up to the task. If you don't have a grinder at home, get your coffee beans from a local roaster or coffee shop and they will freshly grind them for you. Master the tamp. First things first, if your espresso machine, like the majority of them do, comes with a plastic tamper, immediately toss it in the recycling bin and replace it with a heavy duty metal tamper. In order to produce a correct tamp, you need that heft. If you only want to make one espresso every time, or if your wrists are weak, you can also get a palm tamper. Additionally, you should invest in a calibrated tamper if you want to ensure tamping consistency and have the money. For baristas, clean the portafilter. Make sure your portafilter is clean and organized before dosing the coffee into it. Your next espresso will probably taste over-extracted, which is sour and bitter. This is due to moisture and residual grounds. Dose correctly. This ought to be fairly simple. With on-demand grinders, all you have to do is press a button with your hand or a portafilter and the grinder will dosage the prescribed amount. Check your dose on a scale before distributing and tamping if you want to be a very geeky and professional barista. Because your dose won't be excessively high or low, you may be confident that your extraction will be successful. Distribute grounds. Your grinder will probably dispense the grounds into the portafilter's basket in the form of a mountain or a pyramid. If you don't spread the grounds before tamping, the coffee will be distributed unevenly throughout the basket, with some areas having more coffee and others having less. Poor ground distribution could result in channeling. If you want to be particularly nerdy, you can also employ distribution tools. A particularly effective technique to improve the uniformity of your espressos and their extractions is to use distribution equipment. Rinse group head. You might wish to clean the group head to get rid of any leftover coffee before placing the portafilter into it. This is a simple method for keeping your espresso maker clean. Rinsing will help ensure that your group head is adequately heated, which may enable you to get more coffee extraction. Brew directly after inserting portafilter. 
Immediately after rinsing, place the portafilter into the group head and begin brewing. The heat from the group head may burn the surface of your coffee if you don't start brewing right away, producing bitter flavors in the finished product. Want to know something funny? If you don't begin the brewing right away, you'll lose a point in the World Barista Championships. So let's brew like champs and be quick with it. Pay attention to yield and brew time. Now your espresso is being made. Remember to keep track of your brew time if you're using a volumetric machine. You may wish to create a new espresso and or check your grind size and dose if the extraction time was either too short, under extraction, or too long, over extraction. When using a manual espresso machine, pay attention to your yield. For example, if your espresso is flowing a little too quickly, you are just diluting, mildening your espresso and may be over extracting at the same time. Tidy up when finished. After serving, keep everything tidy. Clean the basket of any remaining moisture and used coffee. Wash the group head and then reattach the portafilter to the group head. When things are in their proper positions, brewing the next espresso is much simpler, quicker and nicer. Now you've made it to the end of the video and thus you are no longer a novice in espresso. We hope the tasty, creamer topped results of your labor are just as delicious as you hoped. How do you feel about these secrets to making the perfect espresso? If the information in this video was beneficial to you, please spread the word to your coffee-loving friends and post it on social media. Do you have a great espresso tip we missed? Tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss another video.